Welcome everyone to Mets Baseball Recap for June 11th. The Mets taking on the San Diego Padres. And this was Jacob de Grom Day at City Field. Uh, I believe they announced the crowd to be over 23,000 fans. So it was the biggest crowd in New York since 2019. You know, uh, the place sounded electric and it definitely was electric. Especially when de Grom was just dealing. Um, so we're going to start things off, of course, how we always do. If the Mets win, it's a big up. And that's what they did. They won 3-2. to two. Uh, We're going to give DeGrom a big up because DeGrom got his sixth victory of the year. He improves to 6-2. and two. So good job on DeGrom. DeGrom was dealing tonight. Uh, he was making batters look silly. silly. Uh, here's a picture of, uh, I believe this was Tatis Jr. Just nowhere near the pitch. You know, he was just full twice. No. But we do got some downs. So we got to talk about it. The Mets offense was dead tonight. Um, and I, I predicted this. I actually said this. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't get to upload this video. But I mentioned that because the Mets scored so many runs two days ago and then had a day off, I felt that the Mets offense might not show up today. And I was right. The Mets offense was just not there today. Um... No, also, help, it doesn't help that DeGrom was pitching. Mets tend not to help DeGrom with offense. But we don't need it because I'll explain it a bit. But anyway, we're going to give a big down because Dominic Smith came up with the bases loaded, one out, and he grounded into a double play, uh, throw home, throw first, double play, end the inning, and kill the Mets threat there. But in the fifth inning, uh, DeGrom had a no hitter going into the fifth. And unfortunately, gave up a base hit to the right-hand side. That they were shifting to the left and left that hole open. So, you no know, tough luck, you know. But a good job on the hitter to take advantage of the uh, of the shift. But we are going to give McCann an up because McCann ended up uh, throwing this runner out. So that's an up. So good job on McCann. No, throwing out the uh, the first runner that San Diego had. Um, and then the bottom of the inning, we got back-to-back -back doubles by Pilar and McKidney, and the Mets finally got on board. one nothing. Uh, a little bit later in that inning, McKidney and Peraza will be on second and third, and Jacob DeGrom will just, it's Jacob DeGrom, you can't mess with him. So, we gotta give Jacob DeGrom, oh, we gotta go, I forgot to get some ups here, hold on, we gotta get some more ups, sorry. Go back to uh, McKinney getting the up. And now Jacob DeGrom getting an up for driving in two runs. The Mets take a 3 0 lead in the fifth. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, I, I just spoiled this picture. DeGrom had to leave the game. He pitched six innings with uh, one hit, 10 strikeouts, no walks. So we are going to give an up for the results of what he did. Uh, but, you know, everyone was. Praying and hoping and, 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 and just hoping that this is nothing major, but you know, we'll we'll see. I do have some news on it, so hopefully it's good news. But uh he left with some right flexor tendonitis and um there were some time some moments in the game you can see that something was off with him. You'll see him where he'll grins and stuff and, and hold the side of his no but hopefully it's nothing. And that's what I'm I'm hoping. So knock on wood it's nothing. Um, we are going to give a down because Castro came in, and as soon as he came in, the, the, the San Diego Padres end up scoring two runs uh, via a home run. Uh, first a double, then he got an out, then they gave up the home run, then he walked, and they took him out. Um, so we are going to give it up to the Mets bullpen because the Mets bullpen came in and shut the door down. Um, Lugo and Loop came in to pitch an innings worth of, of, of work. No, Lugo came in to relieve Castro, got the, the last out of that inning. And then Luke came in, pitched two, uh, two, uh, two, oh, Jesus. Uh, he got two outs in the eighth, and then Diaz came in to get a four-out save. So, good job on that. So, no, good job on Diaz for getting his 11th save of the season. Um, like I said, this is a good victory for the Mets. Um, we did have a couple of 0-4s. Lindor went 0 for 4. Smith went 0 for 4. Uh, Peraza went 0 for 2, but he walked. And then, uh, like I said, he ended up being on second base. 
thinks, um, no, uh, you know, hey, Guillaume showed up. He was activated today, and he went 0 for 1. But, like I said, when you, uh, the Mets improved to 31 and 24. And now, we do have some good news, because DeGrom said he expects to make his next start. So, hopefully, we'll take DeGrom at his word. He is going to get some tests just to make sure he is fine. So, crossing my fingers, he is good to go. But, uh, guys, the Mets improved, like I said, 31-24, seven games over 500. Um, and tonight, the Phillies were off for some strange scheduling reason. But they'll play the Yankees tomorrow. And, you no, know, like I said, I was going to say, we at Mets fans are going to have to cheer for the Yankees because we want to make sure the Yankees lose. Uh, Miami beat the Atlanta Braves, so that helped out. Good job on Miami to help the Mets. Guys, tomorrow the Mets take on San Diego at 4 o'clock. I will not have a Mets baseball recap for that game because I will not be around. But I'll try to post something later in the day uh, or that evening. It will be Marcus Stroman going for the Mets. Um, so let's go Mets. Uh, and I, I predict the Mets will score runs tomorrow for sure because... You know, that's tend to, this tends to be the best MO. Whenever they have a day off, they don't score. They just can't. And right now, they have a lot of games up ahead of them. So, let's go Mets.